Howdy folks, I'm Sean and welcome to another episode of Ordnance Lab. We've been releasing a bunch of videos where we're doing a bunch of stuff um, really regularly with lots of booms, lots of bangs, lots of fire, but there's actually going to be a little bit of a break going on. We're actually getting ready to head off to the fatherland, to Nuremberg. No, it's not for one of those heritage not hate kind of things like that. We're going to be going there for Iwa, which is basically like the European version of shot, which means there's not that many bet bros unless you go over to the American sector, then it's very operator beard heavy and somewhat embarrassing. Um, we're going to be there for a couple of week, a couple of days, and we're also going to do a side trip to Austria. We've met a new friend of ours, um, Sebastian, who has a very unique rifle. We're going to be importing to the United. Well, the goal is to import it. We're still waiting on ATF to uh, approve our boot licking and all that stuff for us to be able to bring it in. But so we're not going to be releasing the typical videos with a whole bunch of booms and bangs because we've got a bunch of cool stuff coming up, and that's what this video is there kind of to talk about. One of the cool things we just did is our bootlicking paid off pretty well with ATF where um, when you bother reading their regulations and figuring out how to actually do pretty much everything that we do and do it legally, put it on the internet and not go to federal pound me in the ass prison, a whole bunch of things are legal. Like we just got our variants approved for Molotov cocktails where we can mark them using military grade paint. So we won't have to go over to Cody's every single time we want to make Molotovs and have them engrave them to ATF specs. We've got them approved for landmines also. We've got them approved for, man, that was chaotic. We've got them approved for claymores and a whole bunch of other stuff. So that should be really neat. We've also got them approved for uh, explosively formed penetrators. Where we'll be working on those. And just a whole bunch of different things that we're working on. We did uh, some of work on our self-igniting Molotovs, which was really cool. We're working on being able to get them launched um, like with a water balloon launcher like they're doing in Hong Kong but we're looking for the right place to do that where we can do it in a controlled environment. So that should be pretty cool. We got some cool stuff coming up. One of the two cool things, really cool things coming up is we have a little bit of stuff right here. This is Mr. Simtex, which Jake was able to make and using his chemistry degree, unlike my history degree, I can just write pretty things to the ATF, but we were able to make Simtex here, which is um, pretty much exactly like they make it over there in Czechoslov or the former <laughs> Czech Republic to make sure I, um, say that correctly. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be mounting it here onto our, well, we'll be making a couple more of the claymores, but we're going to be having the real Roomba Boomba. We've got our claymore here and we have our sacrificial um, uh, Roomba and Allie's coming by to say hi. I know Allie, come on, pop up. You're going to miss me while I'm gone. I know your mother's going to spoil you though. So anyways, back to the lecture at hand as I love to steal from rap songs. What we've got is we're going to set this inside an old trailer out at my place. We've blown the hell out of the trailer using deck cord and a bunch of other stuff um, to see what it does. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that on the inside and the goal is to just see how much damage setting off a claymore on a Roomba will actually do. So that should be pretty cool to take the Roomba, Roomba Boomba from just a meme to an actual fully functional one. Then we've got some other cool, Allie, you're a pain in the ass, I know. Um, all right, so what we've got also, our friends there at Armored Mobility, they like the video that we did with their plate where we did everything we could to destroy it. So now they're going to send us a $4,000 shield to see what happens. And what we're going to do is we're going to, Ben's running around here also. This is going to be like that video, I got Buddy here. That video where that dude just, you know, everything goes to hell with the animals. That's what this is about to turn into. But what we're going to do is one of their primary uh, things for Armored Mobility is going to be that they... Uh, go to the law enforcement sector. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate a threat that one of their law enforcement customers would mm. possibly face with a suspect device. So one of those shields that they have, going it up, going up to a suspect device and it blowing up in their face, basically. So what we're going to do mm. is we're going to make an ATF registered uh, pressure cooker bomb. We're going to sit there, and make that. We're going to put fragmentation into it, and we're going to set it off basically right next to Armored Mobility Shield and see what happens. If it still keeps going after that. We're going to upgrade again to a pipe bomb, fully legal ATF registered pipe bomb. We're going to try a hand grenade. And at that point, if it keeps going, we'll also try a full belt of M855 out of a saw and see what happens there. One of the things we did, we kept shooting it with the M4 for their plates. We want to see now what happens if you go into overdrive with a saw with a, uh, 855 along with tracers rolled in there with it. We've got some other cool stuff we're working on, like our Syrian hell cannons and things like that. But as with everything, oh, Allie, she's, get, she's totally ready to go home for the day. We've been here making explosives all day. 
So anyways, all this stuff costs money. So we appreciate any donations we can get to our Patreon account. Those will definitely go towards helping us doing some really cool stuff and being able to bring a lot of this live ordinance to um, fruition. And because our only real limitation is time and money. And those are the things that we often run out of. So also, if you're a company that's a, a body armor company or some sort of other R&D company where you need to simulate some of these weapons, be it a pressure cooker bomb such as this, a claymore, an EFP, we're working on the RPG warhead simulator, we can do all of that. And so hit us up on Facebook, send us an email at info at ordnance-lab.com, and we'll see y'all after EWA.